Hello, this is Pharaoh Vince of Nation 473. And today's a weird day for me. Because I was expecting, I was kind of hoping, for a lot more than we got. And I think it's my fault for giving Camel too much credit. Uh, you know, they've done a few good things over the last couple of months, right? Adding in fragments into the uh, the um, officer fragment chests, right? Adding in the ability to get the drill masters, so that way Maria, Katie, and Simon just aren't as hard to get, right? Eric is still going to be a pain, but everyone else is in there. Mm. Making sure that, you know, there's updates to the game is kind of crucial. It's key. With the amount of money that we all spend on this game, I cannot believe for a second that this is it. I don't normally <laughs> talk like this. I don't normally get this way when it comes to certain things. I don't normally get angry at stuff. So when I say that this is a pathetic fucking excuse of a patch, I want that to have weight. Because we got C-41, we got T-13 troops, and what did we gain to help us get through this? What did we gain in some meaningful way to change the way this game has been played for the last, oh, I don't know, two fucking years? 420 uranium a day. That's what we got. We got 420 uranium a day. Now, when you figure out the rest of the math, right, it's like 12,600 a month. You're looking at about 151,000 a year. That's it. That's what we got. We got 300 uranium or 80 per wave of Doomsday Challenge, we got 20 or an extra 5 uranium an hour from our just regular passive, you know, whatever the heck this is, deep mining, I think, surface mining. So this is now 30 instead of 25. Woohoo! Thanks, Camel. You're doing great. But like, every player in this game has a wish list of things that they want. And we got none of it. Not a single piece of it. The last time anything meaningful changed in this game that added anything to what our daily tasks were is when they added warplanes and we got one extra ruins task that we can do two hits of per day right we got one extra explore ruins that's the last time they've added anything in two years to this game that's not spending or a spend event they haven't added anything, but yet we have people out there that have put hundreds of millions of dollars into their city. Like, this game is profitable. I don't understand it. I really don't get it. So, you know, I'm upset today. I think this is really sad. This is kind of a lame excuse. Like, I was expecting a lot more because... Their other game, Age of Order, which is built on the exact same bones, has more than we do. And we're on our fifth anniversary. They had all that by their fourth. We're a year behind where they got level 35 zombies. We're a year behind where they got C40. We're a year behind where they got T13 troops. In the life cycle of our game. And yet, they are actually continuing to get more content as life goes on too, right? This is why I have an issue is, is we are not getting anything. So what did we, what have we gained since I started playing, right? Let's, let's talk. Let's be real. So we have gained uh, C41 because C38 had already been out by the time I started. A lot of other players can remember even further back than that. But we gained C41. We have gained a warplane. We gained Titan equipment. 
we gained three new officers, actually four. So we gained four new officers, all of the drill masters since I started playing, right? We have gained a few events. So Iron Blood Battlefield, that was not there before. Again, kind of a spend event, right? From more or less Chaos Lands Bones. We play Chaos Lands less than we used to, so there goes that, because uh, that used to be monthly. And nowadays it's whenever they fucking feel like it. And it's just, hmm. We gain Triangle War. We gain Duel of Dominance. We got whatever the hell that stupid rocket ship thing was. Moonlight Ceremony. God, I hated that one. <laughs> like, what have we gained? In, in two years. In billions of dollars of profit and revenue. What have they added to this game? Like, this is genuinely mind-boggling to me. And it's killing me today. So I'm sorry if this video is just a lot of frustration. I hope that a lot of you are feeling what I'm feeling right now because like this isn't good enough for me. Like this is so infuriatingly pathetic. I just, I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't, right? Again, Age of Order has an Academy expansion, right? They have level seven equipment. <laughs> Like, they have, like, you know, all the same stuff we do, right? Like, they got, like, a, I don't know, probably a hot air balloon. I haven't even played that game in forever. I might do it just to figure out what they got. Like, I'm at the point now where I want to check out their other game only because I want to see what they have that we don't. Because it's a lot, right? Hey, cool. We can go up to level 41 now so our fleet can get bigger. That's great, but we didn't add anything that actually makes your city stronger. We just added T-13 troops. Which, you know, I mean, they're all right, I guess. They look kind of cool. We got some new, new, new graphics to look at, right? Like, ooh, look at the flame. It's two colors now. Right? We get, we get more of that other color. <sighs> great. Thanks for the purple. <laughs> It's 16 point something on the um, the actual um, T13 troop breakdown, right? The funny thing is, like, what we actually gained, just to, to, just to highlight as far as an actual power gain in the game, it's 16.5. And when you look at the T12 EMP cannon, and you adjust, that's 15.3. So we gained 1.2 battle power over our best unit for long range cities in general. Uh, and yeah, all right, so our mid range people are gonna be scary at the 18.2 mark, right? Like, again, 15 point, or sorry, 16 point something, and this is 18, so I mean, that's a big jump. But you can kind of see like, my issue is this feels like an update to make mid-range players happy, which are predominantly on locked nations that are predominantly, you know, some of these Chinese players. Like, this feels like a genuine update just to make them happy, to get them the troop type that makes them stronger than long-range cities. That's what this feels like to me. And I think that's what's upsetting, is, like, we've got nothing else. So, uh, I will keep making content for this game. It might take me a little bit to get back into it. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm grumpy about this. Uh, we're going to roll with it. We're going to figure this thing out. But, like, if you're just as upset as I am about this, I do recommend if you have a VIP, talk to them. Let them know. Complain. If you don't, you can always go into this help section. Um, I think that there's something that we might be able to do with part of this. I don't know. I haven't played around with this at all, but I might try to figure it out at some point. I don't This video kind of acts as my own complaint because I'll never be in their vet program at this point. I've already 
criticized Campbell enough and I'll keep doing it. This is just not worthy. It's not worthy of you guys. That makes me angry. For you, for me, for everyone. Like, this is... It's sad. <laughs> you know... No other game... No other live service game... In the world... Could get away... With not changing any fundamental aspects about their game for two years. And that's since I've played. I'm going to bet money <laughs> that after I made this video, after this gets launched, I'm going to get at least one comment from one of my subscribers in an older nation that's going to be like, yeah, and it's been that way since C30, bruh. Because chances are good, they haven't gotten an update at all since they added Uranium and Level 30 Zombies. So, my bet is that this game hasn't changed in four years. That's my bet. So, if you are one of those players that has been playing longer than me, let me know if I'm right down in the comments. And for everyone else... You're frustrated, be noisy. Because the only way we're going to get any change from this developer out of this game is if we're very noisy about what is making us angry about this. So I'm going to leave it at that. Please subscribe to the channel. I will be making more content about the game itself, a little bit less about what makes me angry about it. <laughs> um, although it's probably going to come out a little bit in some new videos, but that's beside the point. And consider leaving this video a like. Uh, every video that, or every person that gives this video a like is going to help add weight to what these words are. So if you agree with me, liking this video does help because it's going to push it to every single person who watches AOZ content on YouTube. It's going to push it to every single person that's not currently subscribed to me, that watches my video, that sees my content. It's going to help the community at large figure out this level of anger because we need to be angry why they've been able to do this for two years is beyond me and i had high high hopes that we were going to get just a fraction of what age of order has and we got none of it thank you guys for your time it's more valuable than the time I've spent in this game. And I appreciate you for that. And I'll see you on the next one.